Hi everybody, welcome to St. Mary's. Uh, I'm Jeff, the liaison, and um, rock and roll. Testing, test. Cool. Testing, 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 no mic. Testing, testing, testing. I have a spare room. Do you like my curve? I'm Mickey Witz, and I'm playing Harper. And tell me a little bit about Harper. Harper is the, I think she's the cool, sweet, confident girl. Um, kind of the girl next door. Potentially a love interest for maybe a main character. No spoilers, but... Uh, makeup ladies. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hey. Oh, makeup. Hi. Surprise. Makeup ladies. That's what I meant. I think it, you can only do it in the gentleman. Yeah. My name is Melanie Wilson, and I'm playing Sunny. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about Sunny? Um, so she's a, a lab assistant at this stem cell kind of researching place, and she works with Pamela, who is poison ivy, and uh, she's she's been testing Pamela's DNA, I guess, and is now going to be testing Olympia's. Or, I guess, Ellie's character. Yeah, I'm just going to wait till you see the moment. You know, no pressure on anybody. Look, people are getting decked up. And once again, that's Ellie Jackson. What? Looking at things on her phone. What? It's good. Huh? It's good. I heard my name. Also, this is me. Oh, oh jeez. Yeah, I know, it's that. you, man. There you go. Oh, hey. Yeah. What's going on? All right, you got the Batman shirt on? Yeah, that's yeah. Very cool. Is yeah, that potential yeah. spoilers for the show? I know, I didn't realize that until like, I got here. Oh, there you are. Oh, we've got tattoos as well. My name is Mitch. My name is Mitch Um, I play Demetrius. Uh, um, I play uh, the superhero's cousin, and it's actually pretty sweet. I'm nice. the superhero in the family. Connor, the camera, and that's about it. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Here's Connor. Connor. Howdy. I have no idea. Awesome. Wildberry. Nice. Are you sponsored by them? Hoping to be. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. 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 Why don't you introduce yourselves real quick? Sure. Uh, my name is uh, JJ Webb, uh, and along with you, my friend, I'm doing the behind the scenes, uh, but as well as being one of the, the thugs with the, these fine gentlemen. I'm Sean. Sean White. Uh, just having a blast, you know, playing a thug and helping out, being PA and whatnot. So, yeah, it's awesome. Hi, I'm uh, Connor Anthony. I'm the third thug of the group. I got to hold a pretty cool knife today, so <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey there. Hi. Hey, what's uh, what's your name? Oh, Dakota. You're, da you're Dakota. Cool, cool. What's uh, what what you doing here? I just was walking down the road and yeah, and I came in here and I sat down and they just cleaned hmm. my nails and. Were you like? I'm I'm an actor. I'll just I'll come and act. These guys yeah. are cameras. Yeah, yeah. I watch some YouTube they stuff. Me. Yeah, yeah. And my grandma thinks I'll be great. So. Nice. Uh, so my name is Dakota Dolby, and I play Bartholomew, which is the lead antagonist in the series. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, so, how did you hear about this project and get involved in it? Uh, well, I pretty much know everybody involved already in the project, uh, and Ellie is a good friend, so she was talking about it. I read the first incarnation of the script, and it was really cool and. It's great that she's going out there making her own stuff. So, you know, it came time to, I guess, shoot this and produce it, and I had seen play a lot of bad people, for whatever reason. <laughs> so the natural choice for a bad person, I guess, was me. <laughs> Let me look at our set. Basically, uh, the director, Laura Atkin, she's my coach, and she contacted me and said she, she has a role, basically, she said, I know you're a thug, and you won't even, you won't even have to act, so. <laughs> really, really nothing. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I was casted as a thug, I think, so that's probably going to be my career. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I know the same, Laura is my coach, and uh, yeah, she uh, threw it out there to me, so I was like, of cool. course, yeah, I'll definitely do it. It's nice, cool. nice. No, I knew, I, I've known uh, Ellie, the writer, and uh, Lee of this project, uh, no coincidence in that. Uh, for for years, we go back, we go back quite a while, and so she told me she was she was writing this. We uh, tried to film it for months and months and months, yeah. as you were well aware as well. And uh, we finally were able to, to get it done. Yeah, I'm just going up two in the morning, on your back. It's pretty good. Oh. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Uh, yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.
Um, I was going to ask for it. It'll be great. Yeah. 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 Right, I know. Oh, it's always nice to go on set. It's just, you know, it's fun to create stuff, right? And uh, I think what happens sometimes when we're doing bigger projects is the creativity is maybe not there as much, and people aren't as happy to be there. Um, so with these projects that are more passion projects, people are stoked to be here, to be a part of it. So it brings a really cool atmosphere and energy to set, and it just makes it fun to be a part of as an actor. The one that's the closest to Sean. Other one. Yeah. And then you can look, oh, you can, you look in the direction she's looking because you're like, what? Oh, crap. Okay, pictures up, quiet on set, all sound. Sound speeding. Rolling. Four, take one, mark. Set. Um, action. Oh, it was a pretty, pretty well, typical but fun day on set. I mean, like, I like the fact that nobody knew anybody except by maybe two or three degrees of separation. And like it was, you know, really fun to get to know a whole lot of new people. I'm like a really just chill, like just totally lax set where everybody's just like, you know, cracking jokes. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm the script supervisor. Basically the star of the show. Uh, no. <laughs> Basically the thing that makes sure nothing messes up and we crash and burn. Awesome. Anything you want to say to your fans? Uh, fans? Oh, I probably don't have any, but I just want to say that I, um, feel honored to be here today and, and to work with Laura and to work with Lisa. Oh, of lovely. course. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, so how did you get involved in this uh, whole production? Um, I know Ellie through, so she she actually she told me she wrote this character for me, which is like crazy. Um, and then she, I was like, oh, I have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's the drive yeah, of that's Ellie. Like, of course. <laughs> hey, Ellie, for the school paper? Uh, school paper? I don't know, like, if, where is it going to be published? The school? The school. Oh. <laughs> I haven't had enough coffee today. How are you doing, Mike? It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's all good. Oh, it's There's, like, blood on my back now. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, nobody sees it. Nobody sees my back. Yeah, yeah. It's all about the face. Okay. Thank God, Hannah's in charge of that. I'm Sarah Duck and I'm playing Pen Rose. Awesome. And uh, how did you get involved in uh, this series and what got you excited to be part of it? Um, at least in me. <clears throat> Sorry. You're also dealing with the voice, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. With no the voice. problem, yeah. At least in me. The script and the character description told me that, oh my god. It's totally fine. <laughs> Um, she sent me it all on the rent and thought it was awesome and she was so passionate about it that I just had to be a part of it. And obviously having something like on this day, having no voice, <laughs> how, how has that been sort of, and even doing this interview, um, I'm sure it's not ideal in not, any way. Not too bad. Yeah. And then also kind of worked for the character when she's poison ivy, like animalistic. <laughs> I love the back. Just makes it creepier. <laughs> Just, Oh Rachel my goodness. Pace. Hi, Hi Nikki. Let's try this again. Okay. <laughs> Alright. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Real good. So how you feeling? I'm super pumped. Like I'm so excited this is finally happening. What made you really want to be part of it? Um, well, Ellie, my best friend who is basically running the show here. Um, who's the boss? Uh, obviously, she approached me with it. She, I think, she, I was probably one of the first people she told about it. Um, she sent me the pilot, and I read the pilot, and I was just over the moon. Like I couldn't believe it was just something she wrote. Um, she's a really talented human being. I could definitely say that. And um, I just feel like, yeah, and just at this point, because I've been such good friends with her, there's just nothing I wouldn't do for her. So I'm always down. Yeah. 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 Special effect shot going. Yeah. That sun right there is gonna blast some light. Yeah. Yeah. We should yeah. do this here Wonder yeah. Woman thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just seeing how much work goes into this smallest shot, like something we're gonna see for two seconds, mm. takes like twenty minutes to do this. And setting people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's it's really awesome. Awesome. a lot of work. I used to imagine that I was a hero in the stories my mother would read to me. The myths and the legends. Okay, I shot, yeah? Okay, go ahead. Happy birthday, kiddo.
I never did truly grasp the magnitude of a hero's sacrifice. Show. Sure. Uh, my name is Garfield Wilson, and my character uh, is Gabriel Mathers. And uh, can you tell me a little about, bit about uh, Gabriel, the character on the show? Well, Gabriel is uh, a mentor of uh, Olivia, and uh, he's, he's, uh, he's a father figure and uh, helps her hone her, uh, her abilities that she's just discovered. You know, it's not the first time he's worked with a metahuman, I'm told. The set is like so cool. The boxing, the boxing ring and everything. Just like being there and it's kind of like smoky. It's really, it was really cool. It was fun. Watching. Oh yeah, sorry. I, I mean, we could probably even put it. So we have Harper like here. Uh, over here. Oh, I remember what I said. Yeah, there you go. Like her kind of like this, so that we can see the back of her jacket because the back of her jacket is super cool. Oh. At this point, it's fine. It's like it, you have a white figure, maybe we know that she's whatever she is now. Well, we need her. That's the most important thing. Okay, so I need. Someone to. Can you do oh, me a favor? Oh, oh. Can someone stand here for a second? I want to see what this one is. Where? Um, just kind of right where I was standing. Yeah. So, sorry, turn around. Or the legend. What does all of this mean? It means you've got some hell of a parentage. Where there's strength, there's destruction. You will learn there is a reason we don't go in the shadows. Earlier too, just to, to, to have uh, people, you know, working for not a lot of money or, or not a lot that just want to create something and work. Yeah, and it's such a cool story, you know, I mean, I, I've, I've grown up uh, being a big fan of, you know, DC and Marvel and uh, just, you know, having this sort of evolution of those iconic characters and seeing what can come out of it is, uh, Hell cool. Seriously. Take Absolutely. one series mark. Set. Action. <laughs> okay, uh let's cut on that. Let's do let's do a series. Can we yeah, so that's go rolling. Oh we're so rolling. I think it's super cool, man. I think obviously right now is you can see the whole superhero market's pretty exploding. So, pretty hard. especially TV series on like whatever, Crave, Netflix, I mean, I feel like it's doable, easily. I think there's great actors, there's yeah. great people involved, and a lot of heart. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, that's all you need. Yeah, and that's, that's always the coolest thing about doing um, any type of project like, like this, is, is you get to see, uh, you know, a lot of these people that, that we're working with today are my friends, and you get to see their creative input come to fruition. And that's always so. Regardless of, of where this may or may not go, I think it's it's quite a comp an accomplishment already just to make something. Totally agree. Yeah, man, me too. One word, Ellie. Like, yeah, that's how I got involved, and that's why I wanted to be part of it. Like, she gave me a call one day out of the blue, and she was like, "You know, I'm gonna write this thing, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, and if I can tooth the nail." And she's like, "Well, I got this character in there, and um, it's kind of totally based on you." I'm like, "Oh, it's so sweet." Like, and she's like, and his name is Demetrius. I'm like, go on. <laughs> and so, uh, and she said, you want to play him? I'm like, well, yeah. She, and she was like, poof. I was like, what are you foofing about? And she was like, well, she's like, I can't really audition for you. <laughs> I was like, you're awesome. Like, it, like compliments, like, the lore. I'm like, of course, I'm in, 100%. No, I've never done any superhero stuff. This is a first for me, and I gotta say, like, this is absolutely amazing because I've been following superheroes for as long as I can remember. Um, so getting to actually be one in this shoot was, again, like a blessing, a privilege, just absolutely awesome. Just something I never thought I'd get to do. So it, it was really fun. How's it going? How do you feel? Oh, um, I feel like I could fly. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Good. What have you been up to? Oh, um, I got a piece of gum over there. Good. Yeah, right there. Good. Cool. Conversation, but I just yeah. stood yeah, yeah. just outside the perimeter of it yeah, yeah, yeah. and listened, totally hoping cool. they would invite me in. Totally cool. Listen, you're but really cool, but oh my god, it's Nicky. 
hey. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I think it's fun playing bad characters because it's the opposite of who I am. So, I mean, every actor will attest to that. It's like the idea of acting is fun because you're playing something or not. Um, so, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not a bad person, I don't care. It's <laughs> pleasure you ask. Uh, but, you know, growing up, I was a very shy, quiet kid, small guy. So I've always watched the people that were kind of this, you know, the personification of this. So I've always observed that and I found it very interesting and fascinating. So it's cool to take on a role like that and figure out why people do what they do. Because regardless if you're bad or you're good, there's always a motive. And the motive is always true to you. So it's fun to discover that. Then, and on top of this, I'm playing a character that's an owl. So. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll, we'll left out a small detail. Like, yeah. When does that happen? Well, awesome. I mean, whenever you can do something that's abnormal, it's a blast as a performer because it just adds to the character and you know, gives you so much to draw on uh, as an actor, so it's always fun. I'd rather do this than you know, wear plain clothes, for sure. Yeah, or just another normal suit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then they're going to do CGI, too, so I, I mean, I'm not going to know really what it's going to look like until the end. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff happening. It's Connor. Getting Behind business the action here. Getting business done. Getting this far. It's been a blast. Honestly, like we haven't even really gotten that much time to get to know each other, but with in this, you know, about 12 hours or so that we've had, it's actually been really cool. Everyone's super chill, but is on their game and is really good with like moving things along. How, how was the day? Everyone was really awesome. <laughs> Excited. I feel like Indie stuff is always really fun because everyone, everyone just wants to be there. I don't know if that's going to be enough to tell you so my bike fits out too. Same. But don't worry about it. It's not your issue. Excuse me, number one on the show? Hello. What? Hi. Hi, are you recording? <laughs> well, I mean, it starts. There's a camera right. pointing at you. Starts. Hey, right. how are you? Can you tell us what the name of your character is? Um, my, name, my character's name is Olympia. <laughs> Ali Cassandras. Very good. I don't know why I have to think about that. Um, All right. And yeah. yeah, and I think we're. Oh, look, JJ! <laughs> Very chilled. You know, uh, super professional. Everybody knows what they're doing, and I was surprised at the. Uh, at uh, the level of expertise and professionalism that was brought to this project. And you know, uh, I, I learned about the project from ground zero, from seeing the first draft of the script and seeing how it's come to fruition, how it's evolved is amazing. You know, really happy to be part of this, you know, yeah. And especially finally that it's like finally getting done after so yeah. many months of... Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, you know, everything happens for a reason and, and it, all the false starts and all the things that had to, had to, this project had to go through to get to this point. Uh, was it, it, it was good in the end because we've got more people on, on top of it. We've got you know an amazing director with Lisa and producer, so you know, I'm super happy. Yeah. Um, rolling. Camera on. V7, take one, right. soft sticks. You will be hunted. What was the uh, the best moment of the day for you? <laughs> I thought. Well, the the you know, I, I, reading the script, it was very exciting. The, all the scenes looked really, really cool. Um, and they told me about the location in the boxing ring and how that was going to come together, and it was even more cool than I thought it was going to be. Really, yeah, and you know everybody knew exactly what they wanted out of the scene. It was like boom, boom, boom. It was over before I could even tell it to. It was really, really cool. Yeah, and like I told you before we started, I was like, so far aesthetically, it's my favorite scene of the day. Oh, right. Watching that get shot was. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, see me it. too, my man. It's so embarrassing, but me and Sarah went and took like a bunch of selfies. <laughs> that was really fun in our costumes. So that I guess. I'm playing Sunny. Um, and my name is Melanie. I'm Sarah, and I'm playing Poison Ivy. <laughs> Very good. You having fun so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Who do you know on the project? Who, who got you here? Ellie. Ellie got both of us yeah. here. We take class before. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. It's a passion.
passion project for her, and I'm so excited that it's finally happening. And, and did you hear about this project like through through Ellie and through yeah? And that seems to be the most interesting common denominator for for me being here is like obviously through Ellie as well. And it's just been a swarm of people just being like, oh well, Ellie helped me on this, so I'm mm -hmm. helping her, and it's so fast. She gives so much to people that you're so willing to give back. Well, right. You having fun in set so far? Yeah, I mean, cool. pretty cool costumes. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome, pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this is really good. You're good, um, We're doing really well. Oh, wow. <laughs> you're doing great, whatever you're doing. Great. It works. Would you like to shout out to your fans? I have what fans? <laughs> No. So humble. But to anyone watching this, Hello. Ellie has created something really awesome. Yeah. And we're excited to be a part of it. Super excited. Oh, <laughs> if I had more of a voice, I would speak yeah. more. But <laughs> that is very sweet. I feel like maybe some cool fight scenes. Seeing her evil side. <laughs> saying with yeah. Ivy, that's very, <laughs> very cool. Um, now, so have you done any superhero stuff before doing this? No. What has that been like, just being in a DC world of superheroes? <laughs> it's fun. I feel like there's always going to be a dedicated fan base, which is awesome. It's already built in. <laughs> Where's my mom? The human? Oh, so glad you could join. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, so what are your guys' names? Uh, I'm Ellie. I'm Nikki. And what do you guys do on the shoot? Did you forget what you do? Give me a break. <laughs> oh my god. Um, well, well, thank you for your time. Uh, this, has been, this has been real. Um, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what, all right, how about this? What's your role on the show? And tell us a little bit about your character. <laughs> um, my role, I play Olympia Alexandros, and um, I, my character um, thinks she's a normal girl, and then she discovers her powers in a fit of defending herself and her cousin, uh, and then sort of uh, flash forward a few months, and we're in these costumes, mm -hmm. and I uh, have a bit of a better grasp of what we're doing. And Nikki, your character? Um, I play Harper Lawrence, and Harper is kind of a cool, sweet, confident, sexy girl next door. <laughs> yeah, we just describe you. Know? <laughs> For this, so Ellie, you need to go get a musician. Right. Get over there! <laughs> oh, fun yeah. week. Yeah. 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 Like, fuck you in one! What? Did you say no? Just don't worry about it. Oh. You want to look down at him a little bit? We're not always talking about you. Why not? I'd like, I, I'd like him to be looking up a little bit. bit. Not a lot, but like. I don't know why you're not always talking about it. Uh, it's on the, it's on the bin where I was throwing. I don't think Laura's Oh, yeah, I, I think they pulled the mega trailer up. <laughs> no, actually, if you wanted to go for sure. Oh, I'd love to see it uh, become, uh, you know, a uh, 10 or 13 episode, episodic thing. You know, I think there's there's so much, so many layers to these characters and, and, and where they could go. And, and, the way that the storytelling is in present day, I mean, there's just so many different angles you can go with it. And talking to Ellie about her her vision of the characters and, and where they can go, it's just, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of places you can go. This could go on for many years if we get to green light. Well, start. Lady, like, right. Right. Yes. Uh, I need to keep track. Can I get that two foot quasar? Just bounce uh, it this way. Okay, what, you want that to kill? Yeah, Laura. right here. Yeah. But I want to know how the artists are feeling. 
I I haven't like I haven't had a dip in energy all day. I don't know if that's down to that's coffee true. or yeah. adrenaline. <laughs> but I also haven't been emotional. I've kind of just been like very one minded. Uh -huh. yeah, you feel like you might get emotional any second? Maybe. Okay. Oh god, don't No. No, not yet. At the end of the day. At the end of the day we'll do our emotions. Love I it. might not have a voice by the end of the day, but that's okay. Half the people in the crowd right don't have a voice. Solid, reckon you do. Yeah. No, nope. and that's get back to work. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Here's a cool question. If you could play another character in this series, who would it be? Oh, wow. <laughs> and then male or, or female, doesn't matter. Male or female? Yeah, if I yeah. If play another character. Oh, I think Bartholomew. Badass. Yeah. Yeah. Good old Dakota. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Can't wait to see what that, that looks like. Yeah. <laughs> let's just let's just. I saw I saw Harper get into her costume outfit and like I want to ride a Harley too. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw my hat in, into her ring and say I want to be her character. That's a great answer. Yeah. yeah just because it's badass. So what other character would you like to be if you couldn't be the characters you're currently portraying? You'd be me, right? Yeah, I would be. Yeah. I was gonna say that. Yeah, I would be. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Aww. Totally. What about you? Um, I would love to be Ivy, like Sarah's mm -hmm. character, Pamela Kingston. Um, I'd love that. The whole Jekyll and Hyde aspect of like not being poison ivy, but being like a um, like a cutting of that evil vine, and I mean that double life. I really, I think I just mm -hmm. like hope that I will be able to play an evil version of Olympia at some point. But Ivy mm -hmm. would be. I think, yeah, I think she's called the red eye contact lens, and she's like, I'm Anna. Oh my goodness. Who is that? Just gonna follow you, don't mind me. Alright, fully costumed out. Just about to do more scenes. Hey, how's it going? All right. That's uh, what camera looks like right now. Scripty in the in the passenger seat. Everybody back to one. There's a camera right here. Why are we using that? Everybody back to one. Pictures up. Walk up the road. here but we got Iron Man over here. Right. This badass rig. Um, so we had a comment earlier about the Star Wars and just down the camera. And that's where everybody else is. For a couple hours now, what's uh, the experience been like so far in the day? Obviously, obviously you're battle damager and you're in costumes now. Oh, that's so. <laughs> so. It is on the. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not I forgot on you. what it was. Just... Fair enough. So, how, how's the <laughs> shoot? On me, it's on you after that. How's the shoot been so far? Um, it's been. It's been pretty good. We're off to a sort of a late start just because the first thing that we filmed was. Um, 
the biggest scene of the day and probably the, the big story point in the trailer. So that was pretty tough. That was a lot of coverage. And then the rest is basically like one shots and very short snippets. So that was really hard and a little bit stressful, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and it was hot. It's really hot. Uh, and But the rest of it's been going really well. Mm -hmm. Everyone hopefully is having fun and it's fed well. And this is getting hot. until you get to about here and then you're looking like not in the lens but as close to the lens as possible and then because I want to see you're like Aah! and then you run out okay right. cool yell or yeah yell do it okay. so it's pretty good no it's great it's actually really comfortable everybody reset so long-term goals for series gets uh, gets money gets uh, picked up you get to, to, to shoot it what's uh what are you looking forward to in that in that process the most? Like, what would you want to see happen with this project overall? Ooh, um, well, I would love for it to make it to the final episode of season two because that's as much as we have mapped out. Um, that would be awesome. I think that's asking a lot, mm -hmm. but like you've got to aim as far as you can and then just try towards that and see how far you go. Um, but. Yeah, I think uh, getting the funding for the pilot and then for the series would allow for much less stress for on me I can just show up and, and act would be great. Mm -hmm. And to do like the stunts, like to get the union go ahead on all of those stunts because there was so much we had to like stop before mm -hmm. actually going, yeah. <laughs> You do a lot of physical training for this role? A couple push ups in the morning. Nice. And afternoon. Nice. And night. That, that pumps the wall. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to thug it down. Thug it? Do you want to be cold thug it down? Because we're done. Yeah. Okay. Kind of. I'm going to get it. 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 You do? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Get it, girl. Yeah. I wonder why I did this single one. I'm going to base me. You can never go home. Yes. Um, yeah, first of all, I empower anybody that can go and create their own thing. It's not easy to do, regardless of what industry you're in. You know, it's tough. So, power to her to do that. And I know it was a long process for her to get to this stage. So, you know, the perseverance of not giving up and you know, failing and trying again, the failing and trying again, that's awesome. That's an incredible thing to have. Um, and on top of that, she's just you know, uh, an incredible person to be around. The energy she has and everything she does is. It's kind of like a magnet to allow you to it, right? So yeah, absolutely. And that's the interesting thing is is, is looking at kind of um, you know a common denominator on, on set, at least for me talking to other people, yeah. has been uh, you know Ellie is that common denominator, being like, oh, how did you get involved? Oh, well, Ellie helped me with this, and now yeah. I'm going back, and that kind of just you know screams Ellie Jackson. Uh, Ellie is just a good person. That, I mean, that's what it comes down to. She's a good person, so she's willing to do anything for anybody. Uh, I think. And, and when you have a different person, you want to you know, help them back, you want to pay back and be a part of anything they do. Thank you. Ellie Jackson. Yeah. How's it going? How do you feel? Good. How do you feel? This is, back is so this sweaty. Is many hours into it. Yeah. This is uh, our, what yeah. hour is this? What time is it? <laughs> um, it's 2 o'clock. Um, it's like 7. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling? Well, oh, I'm really good. Yeah. I've already made out with my best friend. I've hugged mm. Laura. I've rolled in hay. Uh huh. Dodged some cow poo. I like how hugging Laura was like a specific that a thing that you had to. Mm -hmm. okay. It took a lot yeah. not to lick her face. But yeah, yeah. now that you're eating tuna, it's really easy not to lick her face. Be near you. I <laughs> need <laughs> my protein. What do you just watch? You guys are actually really good where you were. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. So go back a little bit more. Yeah. Great, that looks awesome. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. Pictures up. Lock it up. Roll sound. Sound speeding. I'll look over the airplane. 14 big for take one. A little hard. Surprise me. Mark. Yeah. All right. Here we go. same thing that pretty much the common denominator of all of us working here she's, seems to be she's literally she's she's so sweet she'll send me text messages sometimes being like just wanted to let you know like out of nowhere i just want to let you know how much i love you and i really appreciate your friendship and and i love having you in my life and i'm just like oh, you're the best person i know <laughs> she's such a good girl let's cut all right let's wrap 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 yay This this is not about lacking, this is a good laugh. No, it's <laughs> like not a yeah, good yeah, laugh. Yeah. But um I, I gotta say she is absolutely an inspiring woman. Um I look up to her in so many ways. Um and she's worked so hard to get to where she is today and I, I couldn't be more proud of her. Um, and I just want to thank her for letting me be a part of this and just letting me be a part of her life too. She's an amazing human being and everyone deserves a friend like her. And she really attracts that too because it seems like the common denominator of everyone set has totally. been, you know, oh, I know Ellie through this or yeah. Ellie helped me with this so I'm helping totally. her. Yeah, no, she, she attracts people. Like, people love her. People are blowing up her phone all the time. I'm like, well, I don't have that many friends. <laughs> But no, people people are very attracted to her, and I, I definitely see why. The writer asked me uh, to be a part of it, and um, yeah, I've just been a part of it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the writer, oh, the writer, <laughs> forced me to be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Texted me one day and was like, "You have to do this with me. You have to." And then I was like, "All right." Keep rolling. <laughs> I feel like maybe Ellie's character will be a, just a costume and she's so badass. <laughs> You're just at the ready?
take to, like okay. milk it, right? Okay. Okay, take, take this. Are you, is, is the hatch confusing? Okay. <laughs> no one can take you seriously. Okay. I'm just gonna get sunstroke, guys. I'm really white. Okay, so, so yeah, so it's that. For you, it's like the holy shit. What is happening? And you're like, oh, shit, the, you're like the. So when when she's not looking at you, that's when you get to be a little bit vulnerable. Mm -hmm. But then as soon as you come over here, now you're in charge and you're taking care of her. Okay. And... Stand as close as you can. Yeah. And don't... Don't be so playful with that thought that, you know... She should have... She should have warned you. You know what I mean? She should... So have a little bit more of like... This is all really overwhelming. And her tweet tweet is what makes you go... Oh. It's funny. It, it kind of... Like, it lightens. And then like, and that, and and hold it and milk that moment of like looking at each other. Because you know that feeling when you're like about to kiss someone for the first time? Mm -hmm. You guys know what that feels like. like you, have you filmed anything yet? I have filmed. You have, okay, yeah. how was that? It was amazing because it was our makeout scene. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well. I, I said I missed it already. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they I know there was quite the audience, I gotta say. <laughs> did, oh, did. Yeah. I didn't know it was. It was so. passionate. Like, it was really passionate. Yeah, I felt it. <laughs> it's for my character. Sweet, sweet. Were you working on Ellie before, or were you working on Ivy? I've worked on a few people. Like, like yeah, mm -hmm. I've done lifts. Cool. Like, a really yeah. Thanks. <laughs> All right. And you're having fun? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to shout out to your fans? <laughs> hey, guys. We <laughs> wish that. Very good. I love you all. <laughs> and, uh,. Being able to. Oh, no, you're just... <laughs> 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 the King. Robotic job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slappers only. <laughs> she's brilliant. Yeah. You know, she's absolutely brilliant. And uh, I feel super honored to be, uh, to call her friend. And I have no idea. I knew that she's a talented actor, like a super talented actor, but I had no idea that she was a writer as well. Uh, and she wears a producer hat, and she's just so accessible, so giving, and so incredibly passionate. I mean, the knocks that she had to go through just to get this thing done, her tenacity is ridiculous. Yeah, and huge, and, huge props to her. And the fact that it's it's pretty much the, the common denominator of all of us working here, our fact that we're like, oh, well, I'm friends with Ellie. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. She attracts yeah. Those, those people that want to help. What she's been able to attract to this project is testament to how people feel about her, you know, and and, and, and who she is as a person and who uh, she is as an artist. Huge, huge admiration for her, and, and, and I jump at the chance we'll go through again. How you doing? Good. So it's the eleventh hour, literally. How are you feeling? Getting ready to pack up. It's been a great day. Oh yeah, you're packing things up. A little cool. tired, but uh, lots of fun, creative makeup, and lots of great people mm -hmm. on the set. Mm -hmm. Great cast and crew. Mm. I think so. <laughs> Don't you? I do. Yeah. I agree. And uh, last question: What was some of the um, like playing a, a badass uh, 
uh, superhero, uh, female superhero. What are some of your like inspirations you take from that? Or, like favorite heroes you have, or favorite women in general that you look up to? Oh, nice. Oh, well, I mean, aside from um, Miss, is it Gadot? Uh, Gadot. 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 Because mm -hmm. I've heard her say it's different. So oh, really? aside mm -hmm. from Wonder Woman herself, which was obviously a huge inspiration. Thanks, mom. Um, <laughs> Um, I I love really like the really dirty female characters, and they're not necessarily superheroes. Like Cara Trace, played by Katie Sackhoff from Battlestar, she's she's goals. She's amazing. Um, Lucy Lawless, I grew up watching Lucy Lawless play Zena, and she was. Um, I think we were talking about that when we were standing there, mm -hmm. and like. Gabrielle's a short blonde and Zena's like the. <laughs> Sorry, I have to cut you off. Yeah. Do, do you mean. Zena. I was going to say, do you mean Zena Warrior Princess, the greatest show ever made? The greatest show <laughs> My like, favorite show of all the time. The greatest show ever made. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, love, I think those are the, the two, two strongest female characters. How about you? What do you. Um, in inter like specifically superheroes? No, just, just any yeah. strong character that you would get so inspired by. Your mom? Yeah, no, it could be male. No, it, it, yeah, I mean, I mean, in terms of superheroes, like the first superhero that always comes to my mind is Spider Man. I just, I think, I just love his energy, and I just, I love the kind of character he is. Like, you know, obviously both as Peter, as Peter Parker and Spider Man. I just, I've always loved that, and I've always been a fan of that. Even I was Spider Woman for Halloween like two years in a row. <laughs> In terms of superheroes, that for sure, but definitely one of my own personal heroes is definitely my mom. She's just such a powerhouse and she always pushes me and like even when I say no and I'm scared, she like forces me to do it. And I'm, I'm glad that she pushes me. She even said, she's like, tell Ellie good luck on her shoot today. She said, tell her to slay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, mom. <laughs> <laughs> An actual bad. That's wonderful. Like, yeah, fed us yeah. while it like, sent us to China with Cliff Bars. I oh, also really like Ellen DeGeneres. I don't know, just yes. uh, for a person who's just really kind and giving and just so kind to other people is really um, inspiring to me too. What's the next scene? Uh, after our last shot, mm. I think it's gonna be the coolest shot. Oh. Right, boiler room. The boiler room, yes. Deflecting bullets. Yeah, cool, deflecting. we're the final travel. This is the final travel. Final travel. Final travel. Oh my god. Where's Pine? Oh my god. What's that? There he is. Just joking. I don't. I'm not gonna trip. I had a question. Oh, hello. 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 Radio work. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna. So, this is what Ellie sees <laughs> walking by. <laughs> waving. Okay. Waving. Waving. Okay, waving. we're gonna let her get the hell out of see Ellie at her mark down here. Sure. And then I just wanna see what that looks like Maybe. to bring Dakota into this. So. Should I be, should I be crouching here? Uh, if you can manage it, but I. Even that's cool. Like, that looks great. And then Ellie look up. Not at the camera? No, like to the side. And then Dakota start walking. You know what, don't even And look back and Dakota start walking. We don't even need to move up towards them, do we? No, that's great. And then he goes, oh, that's great. Because we can see. What would you like to see for Bartholomew? What are some cool things that you would want to, you know, experience and try to do? Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, kind of evolve with this character? Well, uh, the Bartholomew character kind of is inspired by the Court of Owls. So I think it would be cool to explore that, and obviously the origin. I think it's always fun when you have a character that's evil, you know, the audience meets the character is evil, or she's evil, then it's cool to understand why that happens. There's always a cool origin story. So, like I said, you know, people do reason, do things for a reason. So it would be cool to figure out what that reason is. And Great cut. Scout picture, Laura. Do you want to do one more or do you? Yes, one more. Just one more. I one more. Switch blood. I got one more, Jamie. Films nowadays are so bloody and violent. Right. Let's go, everybody. I'm going back to one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yum. Roll camera. Mark it. 14, take three. Okay. Action.